What's up, Ocean? You got Matt here, coach of your Montreal Mylotic, bringing you our week five battle for the ICBA. Today, we're facing off against the New Jersey Nagana Devils with a beautiful brand new logo. Shout out to Bill Standish. Anyways, pretty sure that's who made it. Could be wrong, but I'm like really confident it was Bill who made it. Anyways, we are facing off against Dom, and uh, Dom has got a very scary team with a lot of really huge threats, but he can't really bring a lot of them against us just because of the matchup, so we definitely do have a really big advantage, and notably one of our Pokemon just completely runs through his entire team, especially if he doesn't bring one other Pokemon, and uh, he kind of can't bring that because of, well, matchups and other things. Anyways, let's just get into the team builder, let's get into what the matchups are, and then we'll get into the battle. So, to start off, our, oh, before we do, I, I just... This is my first video I'm recording since we hit 350 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for helping us reach this milestone. I'm like, just thank you guys. I really appreciate the uh, support you guys have been giving, and uh, like, I'm honored, all right? But uh, that's not what this is about. Let's just move on to the matchup. So our opponent has a team of Darkrai with Z-Moves, Jirachi, Terrakion with Z-Moves, Diggersby, Shaman, Vaporeon, Aromatisse, Kecleon, Rotom, Flareon, which is his new addition, and then Mega Pidgeot. Now, I just said new addition. You're looking at the layout, you're looking at the Pokemon on your screen, and you see a Mandibuzz. And we didn't have Mandibuzz before. Yeah, we actually traded Tentacruel for Mandibuzz. Now I'm so happy about this because one, Mandibuzz is an incredibly powerful Pokemon just in terms of its overall bulk. It's got 110 HP, 105 defense, and 95 special defense. This thing just feels like it doesn't die for some reason. And it's really bulky on both physical and special sides. It doesn't really need its offense, and because of its access to Whirlwind and Taunt, foul play it kind of stops setup without being passive it's also got a great speed here at 80 i'm just really happy that we ended up picking up mandibuzz here it's great the only issue is we now have three flying types in gligar masquerade and mandibuzz we're probably gonna have to get rid of gligar and pick up a better ground type but uh i mean that's neither here nor there let's just get into the rest of the matchup so we have now a team a new team of battle ball greninja with zemus latios with zemus blacephalon ferrothorn gligar mandibuzz Silvali, ditto electivire masquerade and mega gallade now Let's just get into the battle. I'm going to try and find my notes, see if I actually wrote down anything. I don't think I wrote down anything. Oh my god, that's unfortunate. Anyways, let's just, I'll do my best for memory. So we have our Mandibuzz here, AA Ron. With U turn, Roost, Foul Play, and Taunt, we have enough special defense EVs and investment to make sure we are not too KO'd by Dark Rise, T Bolt, or Ice Beam. That's the big thing there. Um, we pretty much wall it other than that, and we can roost off the damage. We have leftovers as well. And then, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Next up, though, we have Burra Crazy, our Choice Scarf, Blissephalon with Flamethrower, Shadow Ball. Trick and Psychic, basically uh, Trick is there to trick the Vaporeon because that's the problem, but everything else kind of loses to this thing, especially we get some Beast Boost going, and that's pretty much my plan here. We then have Ashley, our Greninja, which is what Terium Z, basically we have the, um, our spread is so that we outspeed uh, it's Mega Pidgeot after, well not after, but before the Beast, before the uh, Battle Bond activates, and that's because Mega Pidgeot reaches 121, Greninja reaches, reaches 122, so we're going to outspeed there. We have Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Water Shuriken, and U-Turn. With the Waterium Z because Hydro Pump um, kind of just obliterates his team already, and if we add Waterium Z to that, we can get hard walled by the Vaporeon, but we'll have answers to that in the back. We then have our Electivire here, Scrappy Doo, with the Assault Vest, Bolt Switch, Flamethrower, Psychic, and Thunderbolt. This is one of the answers to the Vaporeon. He's probably going to be physically defensive to handle my Mega Gallade, and that's kind of what I'm expecting. So we have a special Electivire here. It also sponges special hits pretty damn well. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, our, that's our Electivire. Moving on though, we have Texas Man, our Mega Galley with Drain Punch, Knockoff, Swords Dance, and Poison Jab. And this set outspeeds, I believe, after the F3 Mega Evolve, it's going to be the Terrakion. Because Terrakion reaches 108 and we reach 110. So yeah, and that's what it is. Um, we also have Drain Punch, Knockoff, Swords Dance, Poison Jab. Poison Jab is there for the Shaman, for the Romatisse, and we have Drain Punch, Knockoff for pretty much everything else on his entire roster. Um, basically, we get to plus two and have webs up, it's game over. And you might be saying, Webs, yeah, I'm finally bringing Masquerain. <sighs> DS raining here, and Masquerain is about damn time this thing shows up. For 20 points at tier 5B, we are bringing Masquerain here with Sticky Web, Bug Buzz, Haze, and Whirlwind. I originally had Quiver Dance and Shadow Ball over Haze and Whirlwind, but I went with Haze and Whirlwind because Terrakion with Rock Polish was such a huge threat, and I kind of end up, I kind of always led with my Galley during Mox and just click Swords Dance, and then either I 6 0'd or I really chipped down my opponent's team, but it always ended up being a problem because my opponent would get up rocks. And then I would lose my Masquerade Sash, and he would basically just set up for free with his Terrakion before he before I was able to, before I was able to get up webs. And I just couldn't get rid of it. And then I click, kept clicking Haze, 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 and he and my, my opponent in the mock had Tail had another one, had Rock Polish and Swords Dance, so he would have more PP on both. So because of that, I decided just to say screw it, let's stick with Whirlwind as well, and that way we can avoid that PP stalling shenanigan. 
So that's that guys. Basically the plan is leave with Mask of Rain, get up webs, and then just sweep him. His hazard removal is really bad, so I want to make sure I can sweep my opponent quickly with my Galley, with my Greninja, even with Blacephalon, and that is the plan, and we have Mandibuzz there for defense. So yeah guys, that is the team builder. Uh, let me know who your favorite Ultra Beast is. We got a battle of uh, the Ultra Beasts here, I believe. Am I, wrong? Am I wrong? Or yeah, the Ultra Beasts. There you go. So we have Nate, um, Nine Nine Dell because the New Jersey Nine Nine Devils, and then we have the Cephalon. So which is your favorite uh, Ultra Beast? Which is your least favorite? And tell me why it's Guzzlord because Guzzlord is terrible. We all know this. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's just get to the battle. All right, everyone. Here we are back with the battle. As you can see, our opponent brought the. I'm gonna make my. Is this it? There we go. So he brought the uh, Darkrai Shaman. They pour on Diggersby, Terrakion, and, and uh, Jirachi. I was kind of expecting the Aromatisse over the Diggersby, but the other five I was pretty much expecting. So yeah, I'm going to lead off with my Mask of Rain here. And uh, just the best better for me setup was I'm expecting to lead off with Jirachi. And Jirachi, if he's just an offensive Jirachi, he still takes around like 35-40% from a Bug Buzz. So it's okay if I uh, don't have my Shadow Ball, which is that's good to know. But yeah, so we are being challenged by Dom. And so good luck, have fun to Dom. He leads off with Fran Selleck, his Jirachi. And I lead off with my Mask of Rain. Now I'm going to click the um sticky web here assuming he's gonna go for the stealth rocks and uh, that's basically my plan so i go for the sticky web here and he's gonna go for the iron head and i realize he's trying to flinch me down and thankfully we do not flinch and we get off our sticky web it would have been really bad had we gotten the uh the flinch there but i'm gonna go for the bug buzz here as he's actually gonna go for the stealth rocks get up his own rocks now and that just uh really chips down my team my mana buzz is not carrying defog this week so i am susceptible to hazards anyways we get a, about 45 percent ish off or 40 percent off on the uh Jirachi, and I'm gonna try and get it again. Uh, it may, I mean, if I get this, uh, I'm gonna pause it. If I got that, if I got that bug buzz off, he would have been in range for knockoff through the Cobra Berry from my Galliot at neutral, which is just amazing. But uh, we unfortunately did not, we did get flinched there, and that kind of sucks. But that just means our mask is gonna go down here. So he goes to the Iron Head one more time, and he picks up the first kill of the match. It is Jirachi one, Montreal Melodics five, I guess, or however the score works, I don't know. We send in our galley here, and this is it, guys. This is it. The game's over. I'm going to go for Swords Dance, and I'm going to go for the game here. This is it, because he will not outspeed me with anything on his team unless he was Scarf Darkrai, and if he's Scarf Darkrai, then we have a really good answer to it in our Mandibuzz. So I'm going to go for the Swords Dance here, and he stays, and I'm like, what does he have? Does he have Moonblast? But he has to be shining from Moonblast. What does, he, what does he have? What does he have? Uh, he goes return. Okay. Whew. It's okay. It's all good. I have my Drain Punch in the back, so I'm good to go. He's actually going to go into Christina here, which is his Vaporeon, and Vaporeon is pretty fat. If he's max defense, max HP, he'll live this hit. Now, I'm not worried about him burning me with Scald, because I can just set up to plus 6 if I really need to, but I'm going to go for the Drain Punch, and he switches out into Chia Pet here, his um, Shaman. I guess he was scouting for the Thunder Punch, but uh, I don't have the need for Thunder Punch, so I didn't bring Thunder Punch. And uh, we do about 90% to the Shaman with our plus 2 Drain Punch, and at this point, I'm going to go for one more Drain Punch and pick up the first kill of the match, for us now, Gallade guys is so powerful. It's got 165 base special, base physical attack, and with that, a plus two with powerful moves like Drain Punch and Knock Off and Ice Punch, Drain, uh, Thunder Punch, Poison Jab, all this stuff, it's gonna do a ton of damage. I go for the Drain Punch right here, and if he has no investment in defense, he actually dies. But he is actually max defense, max HP it looks like, and he has the Roar, so it's really unfortunate. But it's okay because every time the Jirachi comes in, we have a chance to set up, and that is my plan here. So. He sends us out into the uh, Mandibus. I'm like, this is so bad. Ugh, he can just wish back up. Wait, wait. I have Taunt. I'm going to go for the Taunt here. He should be expecting it, so I'm pretty going to go for the Scald or something, but that's okay. I just can't let him get up a Wish. So I go for the Taunt here, and uh, at this point, he can't go for the Wish. So he went for the Wish, didn't predict the Taunt there, which is awesome, and I'm going to go for the U-Turn. I was debating going for the Foul Play or the U-Turn, but to me, I could go for the Foul Play for the U-Turn and go into my Gallade 100% of the time and be fine. But he actually switches here, and that just makes this play even better because he goes into his Dark Ride. And the funny thing is, this is my counter to the Dark Ride, but I'm U-turning out, so it's kind of unfortunate. But U-turn will do about 40, no, I'm not saying 30%, maybe 25 to the Dark Ride, and I'm going to go into Texas Man here, and I have no reason to set up. There's none at all. So I'm going to go for the Drain Punch. And Drain Punch is going to KO this thing unless he has the, uh, what is it called, the Chopper Berry, but he does not, and Dark Ride goes down. Galley picks up its second kill of the game, and we are back at full HP with, I believe, three pp on drain punch used so we have a ton of uh chances left to pick up a win here and he's gonna go into christine here and this is a role for me to for me to take him out with the drain punch here i'm excited because the drain punch should do the job and drain punch comes out and we should be able to sweep him from here but he lives on like one hp on like well i guess more like five hp and he goes for the wish now there's a bit of a 50 50 that happens here okay he could go for the protect or like the roar or something like that or the skull even uh i can go for the swords dance or the drain punch if he goes for protect then i'm kind of on behind i'm on my hind legs and like kind of trouble a bit but if you goes for anything else we're going to kill this thing we're just going to sweep him the rest of the way now my, my 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 train of thought there you go was that 
I don't need to be plus two to win this game. I need to KO this Vaporeon to win this game. And I can set up on this Vaporeon as he goes for Scalds. So I should be fine there. So because of that, I'm just going to go for the Drain Punch here. And uh, let's see if he actually goes for the Protect or not. So he gets some leftover recovery back. And as you can see here, we land the Drain Punch before he goes for Protect. And we take out the Vaporeon. So that's kill number three on the day for Mega Gallied with Drain Punch. So at this point here, he's going to go into his uh, Jirachi, and I'm thinking he's probably not Cul um, Culperberry, so I'm going to go for the knockoff here. If he was Culperberry before, he probably would have gone to this thing before, but uh, he actually is Culber. Knockoff comes out, and knockoff will get rid of the, um, uh, what is it called, the Berry, and he's actually going to live on a Sliver because of the critical hit. It would have done even less, obviously, and I'm just going to go for the Drain Punch here, get back up some HP uh, from the Jirachi, and that's kill number four for Mega Gallade. Mega Gallade behind webs, who knew of such a threat? <laughs> Anyways, we are now, um, what is it, four kills for Mega Gallade, we're at 84 HP, and he sends in his Diggersby. Now I'm gonna pause it because this thing is such a huge threat. He, if, he, if he has Choice Band, Adamant, Diggersby, he does 84 points of damage to us, at most. That's like, there's one roll, it's a max roll, he needs 84 points of damage, and we are at 84 HP. So he's gonna go for the quick attack here, and if he's banded, we have a chance to go down, and that's gonna be really unfortunate. And let's see, he is banded, and we live on five. Ooh. So we got a near max roll, and we actually are going to be able to take him out with the Dream Punch there. That's five kills now for Mega Gallade. Mega Gallade is the only thing that's standing in its way is a Terrakion, and Mega Gallade looks like it's about to pick up a 6 0 sweep. So, guys, he sends in Zoro, and if this thing is not Scarf or Tropel, we are going to be able to pick up that sweep. And we should be able to sweep anyways because we're going to outspeed him, and at the same time, he's not going to be able to Oko us anything because we do we don't get back to full. And right there, he is not sashed, and we end up picking up the 5 0 win over the New Jersey Nagana Devils, pushing us back up to the positives again or no no we were we were positive before just we were three and one after last week picking our first loss but now we pick up our first win after our first loss like oh my god i'm i'm so bad at this stuff we are four and one now we are plus 15 mega galley showed out it is now the kills leader in the icba it has 10 kills three deaths and it's tied for best differential it's plus seven but it, it does have it is, it is the only pokemon with at least double digit kills this season so far and in five weeks it's, that's pretty impressive it's two kills a week anyways guys that is uh, this battle. So GG2 Dom, uh, kind of an unfortunate way to go about it. He's been uh, kind of getting sticky webbed to death later. He's been getting sticky webbed to death lately. There you go. That's how I want to say it. Um, he's playing a sticky web, I believe, three weeks in a row, and he doesn't really have great hazard removal. So because of that, it kind of sucks. And he only has one uh, Mon week to rocks, I believe. So it's really unfortunate for him that like it's just he didn't have to draft good removal, but webs are causing a problem for it. And uh, that's just how it goes. But anyways, guys, that is the battle. Make sure you go check out Dom. His link will be in the description below, just like the rest of the coaches in the ICBA. And while you're down there, why not subscribe to my channel as well and leave a like on the video, guys. I really appreciate I really appreciate all the support we're getting. And uh, yeah, make sure to answer the comment question of the day. Share the video with a friend. And check me out on Twitter and Discord. My links for both of them are down in the description below. Thanks, guys, for watching. And I will see you all next time.